everybody, Mike with Mike's Homestead here. Due to the harvest season, I've always, always wanted an outdoor kitchen for doing my canning work. It gets so hot in the house. So what I've decided to do is I'm gonna build a rocket stove. And what I did is I looked around my yard and I found a few things that I think is gonna work. So for starters, I found an old sandblaster hopper. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut a doorway here and actually make a fire door and then have a fire box here. And I'm gonna mount this piece of wall casing in here surround it in some form of uh, insulation and I've got some grill pieces and some hinges for the doors and um, some pieces off a of grill for ventilation so you guys hang in and I'll show you what I'm gonna do well for starters what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut that hole out and what I've got here is I got a set of hinges that are gonna mount there and the other one will be here I got two of them and we'll make that door come down in case the wood gets too big we'll have be able to leave the door open also, I'm going to take these grill pieces and I'm going to mount one on this door, and then I got three more that will be mounted one here, here, and here. I got tired of burning up too many discs, so I came to my shop and I actually got the plasma cutter out. casing I decided to go with a piece of seven inch uh, galvy instead uh, it's cheaper easier to work with and that piece of wall casing was a little valuable to me so I decided to use this instead now I do is make about one inch slits so that I can create little tabs and I already marked it so you know where to end it now I'm gonna just fit that in there and what I can do is set it in and I'm going to reach in and fold the tabs over on the inside. And that will hold it into place. I just want to show you the progress on the stove before we actually fill up the sand and clay mixture. So as you can see, I put my vent holes on the bottom. There's one on three sides. I got my door so it swings down. And there's my fire spot. And then inside, there's my heart. Just gotta fill it in around here. One of the main ingredients is we need to build a good rocket stove is clay. And over the years of gardening here, I just happen to know there's a lot of clay under the ground here, it's about a foot down. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna dig down and see if we can find us some good clay. Basically broke up the weeds off the top, took about six inches down, not even, and there we go, good fresh clay. Another important ingredient that we need is sand. And I don't have any sand in my yard. I got an idea.
show you the clay and sand mix it isn't even hard yet, but that thing is almost burning clean. Well, I think it's ready to use. All I got left to do is sand it down, paint it, maybe put a handle here. I think it's good to go. If you guys enjoyed that rocket stove video, hit the like button, make a comment, and if you want to see some more of my videos, hit that subscribe button. Check me out, guys. Thanks. Bye.